Dory, Helen, bring me in the dance hall Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Five Romancer video. I'm your host, Megan. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, you know the drill. You know all about me. So this video didn't have an intro film to it originally. Uh, I had originally intended for this to be a sew with me, and as it progressed, it just kind of became more of a sewing vlog, which I'm still going to post, I'm still going to talk about, and you're still going to see a lot of the construction of the dress. The dress pattern that I used was the Rose Cafe bustier dress hack sort of thing, and this is still going to be about that, but there's going to be a little bit more like day in the life stuff peppered in than was originally intended. I didn't film enough for that week for it to be a whole like a week in the life vlog, but I also didn't have enough actual sewing footage to make it a full sew with me because as you'll see, a lot of things happened. Um, and it just... It caught me up. I'm not confident a lot in my construction of sewing because my skills are ever growing. And so don't let this be like, so don't let anybody ever discourage you from starting somewhere because you gotta start somewhere and we can always learn a new skill. So on that note, I wanna make sure that you like this video, you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on because it really makes a difference. And we're gonna go right into it. So I'm gonna show off these pattern pieces because I already cut them out, but this is gonna be maybe potentially a sew with me. But currently, I'm just trying to fussy pick. This is my fabric for the dress. Um, where I wanna put the center piece. Like, sorry. Because this seam right here is the, um, where's my little, piece? where's my mock-up, hold on. This is my mock-up. I haven't, um, finished it I just was like oh, I gotta just start this so that's piece that's half of it is this seam right here which is these are for um, you know very obvious what it's for so like I was saying that I just want to figure out what piece I want to be right here in the front of the bodice of the dress I am making which is the uh, Rose Cafe this is a bustier pattern I'm going to then drape what is it the skirt aspect of it but like I said I'm just going to iron this and uh, figure out which of these little flowers is going to be in the front. But first, some Tesla snuggles because she's sitting under the ironing board screaming at me. Hmm, I know. I know. Do your guys' cats like to be um, spanked? I don't know how else to say this. You want to say hi? Look at camera. No, up. Yeah. Okay, can we get back to work now? Babies are in the other room. You wanna go sit with babies? All right guys, welcome to VoiceOver Megan. I left these clips in because like I said, this was originally intended to be a sew with me video where I would have given detailed instructions as to what I was doing, but the final draft did not let that happen just because there were so many things. You can see where I had picked for the front panel. I hope this doesn't get too obnoxious for you guys because, you know, this is my second only voiceover ever. A lot of my time was spent trying to figure out which piece I wanted to be featured on each of the bodice pieces because Let's be real, it, it does matter, and I didn't really want two giant flowers next to each other, and I kind of wanted it all to just flow really organically to be, you know, the most fairy, whimsical princess that I possibly could be. This is the first of many times that I spilt this container of pins and it was just inevitable and really just tedious. I really should have gotten the magnet one for it, but ain't nobody got time for that when you're filming a million things. At this time, I took all of the pieces off of their pattern like what I had cut out and decided to put it all together so I could actually see 
how they lined up after spending so much time fussy picking each of those bodice pieces. If you uh, happen to notice that bright red note card in the uh, background of what I'm filming, that was there for color correction purpose because it was very neon. It allowed the green of the bodice to actually show up true to color without blowing out, which was just my, my little trick there because I didn't feel like editing color. Next was time to cut out the interfacing to give structure to the bodice pieces. And at the same time, I realized it would be best if I cut out the lining at the exact same time also because saving time and coffee time. I got my big cup of coffee. Right now, I now need to sew, or well not sew, I need to iron on, cause you guys haven't seen my face probably at all. This is the uh, lining right here, but inside of that, you just watched me cut out a bunch of interfacing. So now we need to attach the interfacing to the inside of our bodice pieces to add some structure. So yes, that is a um, one of the newer Jackalope Jane's variety t-shirts that I don't think I've posted photos of. Maybe by the time you see this, you'll have seen it. I don't know, but let's talk about things that are bringing me joy today. This bunny cup. All right, let's continue with the voiceover, Megan. I honestly can't remember what I was doing at this point, so let me watch. Okay, so we're taking apart all of the pieces and spending way too long trying to remember which piece goes where. These cups, seriously, I ended up having to sew them like nine times because I kept doing it wrong. Oh, this is where I ironed on my interfacing. And then we're into sewing. And here I am struggling again with those cup pieces. It's, it's a thing. At this point, I had to take a step back from my work and uh, take a break and snuggle Tesla for a bit. Actually, this is love snuggling Tesla. Back to work. Good morning, everybody. This is what I look like exactly when I wake up. If you've watched my vlog mess, you'll know. Um, so it's day two of working on the dress that I have decided that if I don't look like a background character at one of the ball scenes in the 2013 show Rain, then I no longer want it in my life. Coffee is made. It's already sweltering hot. Let's talk about what happened yesterday because this is in no way a tutorial, which I'll probably have explained in after the fact when I make an intro for this, but um, after I stopped filming these cups, hold on. Uh, these um, and their lining is literally the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. I think I did, I took them out and cut them out and I didn't, I couldn't find my seam ripper, so I had to use my tiny little scissors, I think like eight or nine times. Yeah, that's right. Eight or nine times I had to rip that out. And so I got really frustrated, so I stopped filming that. And then when we decided to make lunch, dinner, we had like a late lunch, early dinner situation. Hello, Tesla. Lev decided that he needed to steal the show as always. Okay. 
yeah love decided he needed to steal this show as always and um nearly uh remove his finger while he was cutting up our steaks to make steak and cheese sandwiches yeah i um i don't do blood so i literally couldn't even look at him i'm like what'd you do he's like don't come in here like, what'd you do he's like i, I it, it's the the tip just the tip I was like what what do you mean just the tip so we have a very large very sharp lovely like chef's knife in the kitchen that he had just sharpened the night before and he was going hard and he knows exactly what he did he broke protocol for he used to work in a kitchen so he knows when you're chopping things you use the tips of your fingers and you tuck your thumb behind it so this is kind of like a shield when you're you know you're chopping right he didn't do that so he's fine we didn't need no no stitches necessary just a lot of tests like it off of that fabric just just a lot of uh, things i can't help with and i was like what, what do you need me to do he's like just don't come in here and i literally turned around he's got his thumb over his head and i i, I paled because it, that was all it took that's how squeamish i am when it comes to him getting hurt um, I don't know if any of you are viewers of when he actually, um, these two fingers, he, um, yeah, another story for another day, uh, that was, that was a really bad experience where he had to Uber to a hospital, but this is, now this is story time and we're not talking about the pattern. Anyways, so that's why I stopped filming randomly yesterday, which you'll see, but, um, I think I got a clip of this. Here is our lovely oh my gosh i can't crouch look at this and i love this like rumple still skin style where is that can you see it the gold that i did the top stitching with um basically you're only supposed to do it in one way to reinforce the seams down i did it on both sides because i wanted to make it more of a uh faux corset let's see you can kind of see the lines I'm trying to catch, catch it in the light there we go a faux corset style because obviously I didn't bone this and I don't have any um, underwire and before anybody asks because love always likes to um likes this t-shirt when I wear it this is from um the Cirque du Soleil show delirium let's get going we gotta gather the skirt we gotta put in a zipper I don't know if I want to do a zipper I might do um like a corset style back still haven't decided haven't gotten there yet Gonna finish my coffee. <sighs> Already out of breath. Let's go, guys. Break. So it took me an hour and a half to um, gather this bitch. Look at that. Look at her, look at. Here, pretend my knees are boobs. Yes, 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 guys. All right, perfect. All right, it's a really weird angle. Um, I'm gonna trim off. There's no science, I kinda just guessed. And now there's like, yeah, I gotta trim that off. All right, so I didn't film putting the zipper in. I gotta fix it up because I'm terrible at zippers, but there you guys go. Sorry, I can back up a little bit more, sorry. But yeah. And I also have to do this back hem, but you know, it is what it is. We're looking good. It's, um, if you, I don't even think I showed you guys. It's floor length. It's floor length. Oh, back crouching. Jo wow, I'm a hot mess. 
Just got back from a Target run and Joann's. I had to pick up the fabric for Aurora's dress. So in companion in tangent to my dress, Aurora this morning decided that she wanted her dress to coordinate with mine. Okay, just did a crouch to pick it up because it's below the camera. So we've got this lovely vintage pattern. I'm not sure, so let's focus. There we go. We're doing view B, but I'm not sure if we're gonna have, obviously the only difference between A and B is the length of the sleeves. But that being said, I don't know if I'm going to just omit the sleeves altogether and have it be a tank style. It's a very reminiscent of a dress my mom made for me and my sister when we were younger for a different wedding. That being said, let me show you what we got. This is, so obviously this matches my dress. This is going to be the bodice of her dress. Oh my God, my sweaty pits. This is the lining, so obviously this goes under here. You can't, oh, you can't see it at all. And then, here's our little beautiful, almost Tinkerbell-esque, very flower fairy um, vibe for the tulle skirt. It's hard for me to put this up like this. And then there's a giant ribbon in the middle. If you saw, we have this peachy, doesn't have a color tool for it. And then right now, basically it depends on which one Aurora chooses, which button, which buttons she would, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, my nails are filthy. Um, which buttons, if she wants a little bit of the butterflies or these beautiful little pearl flowers, both at a, both at a bit more whimsy. So if you wanna know what I got at Target, I got one of the, um, the curlers that do, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I, I, it's like a crimper. I don't know if they have an actual name, but the hair curlers that go like this, so it makes the weird, the bohemian beachy waves. I got this dress, like nobody's business because, come on, it, there, my tag I think is still hanging off the back. I got it in the size small, it was 25 bucks. I found it amongst all of that Y2K stuff. But let's be real, it matches my Stay Spooky merch. So I'm living for the summer ween vibes because they're, the retro colors are very, very autumnal. Um, hold on. I also, I picked up a wedding card, which is what I went in there for. And then some sheet masks and the eye puffy mat, uh, Pacifica anti-eye mask. Let's see, which ones did I get? I got this this mask, I got this exfoliating mask, uh, this one, I'm, I'm not gonna read them out, and then I got this one just to give to Aurora because she likes to do face masks when I do face masks, and I got my favorite energy drink because I'm hot and sweaty and I need to focus. So if you guys are new here, these are literally, this is my favorite flavor, the Alani energy and the Cosmic Stardust flavor my all-time favorite. It was in the cooler at checkout, at the self-checkout, and I was like, yeah, it's hot. I need that. So, yeah. Now we're gonna get sewing. What's the next step? We're gonna sew. Is this kind of a vlog? It's a sewing vlog, I guess. It's not a tutorial. It's kind of just, sorry, if my, um, my itty bitties come popping out. Oh, was this in the video? Did this, did I get a clip of this while we were shopping? Because I kind of showed us shopping in Joanne's. This was for my halfway to Hans make along. This beautiful mauve little ghosties. I'll make another baby doll dress that looks like the mushroom dress I made for my birthday and the spooky boobs, boobs. I was calling them spooky boobies because you know, it also glows in the dark. I was so excited when I saw this cause it fits the color palette that I've been like going with lately. Anyways, that's a later project, but if you're part of like my Halfway to Haunts make along, it's gonna be one of my next um, after the Basque dress, which is over there, cut out after I do all of this, because yeah. Um, so next for so sorry. So next for sewing is getting the bodice uh, lining sewn in. Uh, I didn't want to show the zipper because I'm afraid of failure and I actually think this is the best zipper I've ever done. I don't know if I got a uh, video or a clip 
of me actually trying on the bodice because it's like really weird because like literally it goes like right here and under and up because the cuppies aren't on yet. But the zipper went in so nicely. I thought I got thread. Oh yeah. And I picked up thread to match. It's like, wait, because I needed that for, to sew down the invisible zipper. <sighs> Anyways, back to sewing that. Uh, lining goes next. Yeah, let's uh, blue skidoo, we can too. Let's have you brought me, stop, let me say, Lily, chaos. I want to show you. It's a chaos. Well, don't touch world. him. Don't touch, it's he's gonna chaos. jump. I can't, there we go, we're, fo no, we're not focused. There we go, we're focusing. He's like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I want to escape this, I want to escape this giant Oh my thing. goodness. <laughs> oh. Go bring him out, go bring him out. Back outside. So I got, I tried my hair cramper. I wanted to time how long it took me to make my wee, wait, my weebies, my wavy waves. Um, so what turned into a sew with me video has now turned into a casual vlog. What are you eating over there making loud noises? Noots. Noots. Uh, now we're gonna do my roots. Cause we do that from home. And Lev is awesome, my awesome possum and, oh good, you can't see that here. You can't see your lower half. Mm. He's got no pants on, but you guys have seen that before. It is the same thing. And if that's something you guys want to know more about, so let me know. You have no pants on before? Oh no, my hair. Oh my gosh. If So you've seen me do my hair before. I'm not going to film it. Thank you for telling me that I skipped a whole sentence. Uh, if you want to know more about what I do to do my hair, let me know down below and we'll, we'll address that in a different thing. But for now, I'm not going to film it because like I said, I've showed it off in Vlogmas. Right, so it is a uh, Monday, not quite noon. It is 11.45, my computer's right there. I'm going to work on Aurora's version of her dress. We fixed my hair. Oh, you can't even, there we go. Touched up my roots. They're still, you know, just looks a little bit better. I'm going to, I don't know if this, is this on this? Much better. Um, I can rest my hand and not shake the camera all over the place. I am going to edit a video when I vlogged the wine tasting and um, from a couple of weeks ago when I went to the Rosé uh, premiere party and uh, get that up for you guys because I won't be able to film on Friday. Well, I'll be filming, but I won't be filming a normal podcast, but you know, guys will have figured that out by now when you see this, probably. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows when this will go up? So, yeah. Let's uh, let's get going. Uh, I did nothing productive. Love is home from work. You were wearing your hat. I took hey, that off. Hey, hat. All right. Okay. Time. Those smell very potent. Um, we are making our new favorite, which I should talk about on my May recap. Uh, Caesar dressing from scratch. Uh, we watched. It was it best life and beyond go to the golden steer in vegas where they make the caesar dressing right in front of you and then i had to google and find the recipe for that specific thing i found it as a, like a picture on pinterest oh my gosh i can't it's done currently i'm like right over it this is terrible you're currently mincing the anchovies anchovies are minced okay I'll eat them, I just don't want to smell them. And uh, you gotta do the garlic, that's a lot, I feel like. Anyways, yeah, we probably don't that's what we're gonna do. I just was killing off the first um, bottle. 
that I had. Oh, you just put your elbow. Careful, sir. Don't chop your fingers. I'm like, keep trying to film you. They'll have seen me talk about what you did. You're gonna do it again. What? You're gonna do it again. I'm not. I'm being careful this time. I'm gonna put the olive oil away. I'm gonna put the stuff away. Or did I put mustard in my already? Yeah. So much lettuce. It'll probably be a couple weeks before I do it again. <laughs> crunch, crunch. Ah. Ah. No more. Ah, crunch, crunch. Ah. Ah. I'll give ah. a crunchy crunch out for the next one. Crunchy crunch. I get the little like hearts on the inside. That's my favorite. All right. I'm gonna. We're gonna put our salad together, and then I'm gonna sign off for the night. So apparently, my mom at some point had cut out the entire pattern that I was gonna use for me and my sister. So uh, thankfully, it's actually cut out in the size I needed, but like, oh, let's get Rora's dress going. So we opted to do no sleeves. Oh, I can't even see what I'm filming. So we opted to do no sleeves for this dress as opposed to the small short sleeve version of it. Let's get over here. I didn't even realize that was out of shot. end of what would have been the sew with me portion of this it gets cut off really abruptly here because uh, at this point it was the day before and I have uh, the wedding and I had to go right to the rehearsal and I had not finished Aurora's dress so I didn't end up filming anything after this point of Aurora's dress and I'm not gonna put the uh, the footage from the wedding into this vlog because at this point this is already getting fairly long so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit different than what i normally do and you know if you if you like this let me know down below if you want to do more things like this you know let me know it's it's a lot and like i always say i love you all and i'll see you next time remember stay spooky